Dragon Age Dreadwolf walked so that Dragon Age the Veil Guard could run. It's happening, Dragon Age fans. Bioware dropped a bombshell today that the next installment in Dragon Age won't be called Dreadwolf, but rather a companion-centered name, which is the Veil Guard. They casually dropped this Thursday morning bombshell on a fanbase rabid for scraps of Dragon Age news, and also revealed a ton of new details on the upcoming game in an IGN exclusive. The IGN article goes over the new name change, the companions, the protagonist, the combat, when and where to watch the gameplay reveal, and of course, the romance. Let's dive into all the juicy details, starting with the biggest reveal of the day, the name change. General manager of BioWare and executive producer of Dragon Age, Gary McKay, spoke to IGN about why the team decided to change the name from the previously marketed Dreadwolf to the Veilguard. McKay explained that the name change was to better focus on the main cast of characters, the Veilguard, over one of the main antagonists, the Dreadwolf. He said that Solus, the Dreadwolf himself from Inquisition, is still very much a part of the story of Dragon Age the Veilguard. However, the team wanted a title that reflected a really deep and compelling group of companions. The change from an antagonist-centered title to one that encompasses the heroes of the story makes sense to me, especially for newer fans jumping into the series for the first time. I myself am a very new Dragon Age fan. I finished the main storyline of Origins only last week and it's the only game I've played in the series so far. So even though I can't really speak to what the Veil Guard could mean, it's clear that the Dragon Age team wanted a companion-centered title, even if it is clunkier than Dreadwolf. And speaking of Dreadwolf, apparently, Solus isn't even gonna be the big bad wolf we thought he'd be. McKay went on to reveal that Solus isn't the only bad guy that the Veil Guard will be up against. I'll keep it spoiler-free for this video, but if you're interested, check out the IGN article linked in the description for a new tidbit on the antagonists. The other major bombshell Bioware dropped is one that Dragon Age fans have waited a decade to hear about. Fans will finally get to see official gameplay from the Veil Guard next week Tuesday, June 11th, starting at 8am Pacific. It'll feature 15 minutes of gameplay from the start of the game, so we'll probably get a pretty good sense of the cinematics, the gameplay, how the dialogue will run, and what combat looks like. It's going to be a really exciting reveal, so make sure to tune in on Tuesday at 8 a.m. Pacific on the Dragon Age YouTube channel. Hopefully, we'll also catch a glimpse of a few of our Veil Guard, which McKay revealed goes up to seven companions. Instead of the usual large group of companions featured in the other Dragon Age games, Veilguard will feature a tight-knit group of seven. McKay said that seven companions is the right number for the story we're telling, and that each one is intended to represent a unique faction or element from Thetis, with unique stories of love and loss, and meaningful choices and emotional moments. I've played plenty of RPGs with both large and small companion pools, and personally prefer when the group is a bit smaller. To me, it helps tell a tighter story for each companion, and each character's experience feels richer compared to storytelling for a larger group of characters. McKay added that each companion has incredible backstories that intersect with the main narrative in meaningful ways, and that will surprisingly bring only two characters with us instead of the traditional three. From everything he spoke of on the characters, he gave the impression that the Dragon Age team wanted to tell a tighter storyline with a more close-knit party, which I'm very much looking forward to seeing. A lot of recent releases I've played seem to favor quest bloat or increased time to completion over a well-told story, so I'm curious as to whether these reductionist changes the Veilguard made will benefit the overall game. And even though we haven't gotten any details on who exactly our companions are, you can rest assured that whoever they are, you'll be able to romance whichever one you like. McKay confirmed to IGN that yes, you can romance the companions you want, so no more needing to install a mod to smooch the character you're desperate for. Bioware's finally figured that one out for you. As to the reduction from three taglong companions down to two, it again seems like a choice towards telling a more close-knit story, with the companions each individual player takes a liking to. The majority of my two companion experiences are in games like Mass Effect and Final Fantasy, and I personally enjoyed having a tighter-knit group in most of those games. A huge factor for me when raiding a game is replayability, and usually during a single playthrough, I bring the same tagalongs for each mission. So with reducing the tagalong companions down to two, in my eyes, it increases the replayability of the Veil Guard, so I personally like the change. That being said, I've enjoyed the more nuanced banter between the Origins companions, 
which featured three tagalongs. And to go off on a short Mass Effect tangent, as my brain usually does at all times of the day, I think it could have been really fun to see a Mass Effect squad of Garrus, Tally, and Liara. So for now, I'll reserve judgment on the tagalong reduction, but it does seem like a positive shift for a more tightly told storyline. But enough about our companions. Who are we gonna be? McKay spilled the tea on our role as well. To IGN, he revealed that us players will be an original protagonist in charge of a group called the Veilguard. This protagonist will be similar to the Warden, Hawk, and the Inquisitor, and implied that their purpose will be to protect the Veil vale from the antagonists. All I can say as a very new Dragon Age player is that I'm very glad I chose an elven background for my Warden, because I actually got the Veil vale reference. Kinda. With regards to player agency and how we'll impact the world of Thetis around us, McKay reassured fans that we'll unravel our companions' backstories and earn their loyalty and friendship, all while visiting a deeper variety of biomes than any Dragon Age before. As to whether companions or characters from previous Dragon Age titles will make an appearance, McKay carefully sidestepped anything following that line of questioning. He did, however, make an effort to note that the previous game's characters and events aren't the anchor of Dragon Age The Veil Guard. It's about your adventure with a brand new cast of companions that you must rally to fight against a powerful force. That being said, one of the main antagonists is a previous egghead that is clearly very important to the Veil Guard story. So take McKay's comments with a grain of salt until the official full reveal. I think the choice to make each new title unique is a very good marketing strategy for new players to the series. And as a newer player myself, it's nice to know that I could play the Veil Guard on day one and not be super lost plot-wise. Regardless of when I purchase the game though, something that always intrigues me in an action-adventure RPG is how the combat plays out. And McKay's quotes on that point to a very thrilling, unique experience tied to the companions you bring with you. He described the combat as fun and fluid moment-to-moment -moment combat that centers strategy via the unique powers of each companion. The last fun and fluid combat experience I thoroughly enjoyed was in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, so that's the benchmark I'll be using as a comparison for combat fluidity. Something that I'm very excited about is that the combat was a big focus by the Dragon Age team. McKay specifically mentioned an ability wheel that can pause the action, which was designed to give players more direct control over their characters. For me, gameplay has and probably always will be king. And in a major RPG franchise like Dragon Age, where combat and the leveling system is crucial to the gameplay experience, I'm very happy to hear that it was a big focus for the team. My personal annual RPG replays always include really fun gameplay or combat focused aspects, even if the story isn't as gripping. That being said, I have enjoyed the story over the combat in Dragon Age Origins, so I'll withhold judgment on the gameplay and story balance until we get more details. I'm hoping that Tuesday's gameplay reveal will heavily feature the combat system, but we might not have to wait until Tuesday for a Dragon Age update. Franchise director of Mass Effect Mike Gamble tweeted that the name change decision from Dreadwolf to the Veil Guard was only announced at the last second because it's happening before something special. His actual tweet included the words, we can't change the name on any old Thursday. Now, if you've watched anything on this channel, you know that I take Gamble's tweets very seriously. Maybe too seriously, but the one thing I do trust is that he does not tweet lightly. So when Gamble tweeted this on the Thursday before good old summer game fest, my three sleuthing brain cells perked up. Couple that with the Bioware account specifically tweeting that Tuesday's reveal will be gameplay oriented Instead of saying something along the lines of full reveal, I personally think there's smoke to this fire. Last year's Dragon Age Day hinted at a full reveal in the summer of 2024, which can now officially be dubbed the Veilguard vale Summer. Without a cinematic trailer or two though, with a release date thrown in, it won't be a true full reveal. So I'll be expecting something to drop during the Summer Game Fest starting Friday, June 7th at 2 p.m. Pacific. Regardless of if it appears tomorrow, Industry insider Jeff Grubb has confirmed on Twitter that we will see the Veil vale Guard in action on Sunday during the Xbox showcase. So buckle up, Dragon Age fans, because we might see a trailer on June 7th at 2 p.m. Pacific, and the official gameplay reveal will be on Tuesday, June 11th at 8 a.m. Pacific. Depending on my work week, I might stream the gameplay reveal on Tuesday. 
Otherwise, I'll be freaking out over on Twitter about Summer Game Fest tomorrow. When the Veilguard trailer reveal does eventually happen, hopefully it's above and beyond the last major Bioware trailer reveal we got back during the Game Awards in 2020. And if you're looking to pass the time until Veilguard Summer kicks off in full, watch this trailer breakdown on the Mass Effect teaser next. See you there.